Do you like warm, loving, caring? You may be wondering, what does that have to do with anything? It has to do with a pet. I will give you many reasons why every family should have a pet. I mean, imagine the fun. And who loves who loves animals as much as kids? What what does broccoli do for you anyways? I mean, why not give it to a dog? If you want to know know why every family should have a pet, well, you should read on. One reason every family should have a pet is even if you're allergic, that's fine. Keep looking for di for a different pet. Still, some parents might say, "Well, I don't want a cat or a dog." I refute that because there there are several hypoallergenic cats or dogs. Even if you wanted to, even uh, even if you wanted a cat, you could get one with no fur. Another thing parents might say is, well, I don't want, I just don't want one. I refute that because after a while, after a while living with a dog or cat, you kind of get used to it. I mean, it's there for a reason. You bought it. There are also, they also might say, well, maybe I don't want a pet with fur. I refute that because there are so many options, like, Dogs, cats, bunnies, rabbits, hamsters, guinea pigs, sna pig, pigs, snakes, lizards, geckos, birds, fish, crabs, turtles, snails, or frogs, plus so many more. Those are some some simple examples, excuses parents might use. Another thing parents complain about is the responsibility. They might they might say they might say it's too much money. Well I refute that because some pets are maybe twenty bucks at a store. Some parents might have friends who could give them a pet for free. Another thing they they might say is it's too much work. I refute that because it would all you would have to do do if you were you have gotten a dog is feed it, walk it, let it out, pick up the poop, and bathe it. That is five five little jobs. If you if you think taking care of a dog is 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 hard, parents do work like one 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 to twelve hours a day. That's a lot harder than four four or five little things. The last things parents might say is is you you're too irresponsible i refute that because it it shows more responsibility to take care of a pet while doing all the work for it and wanting to do all the stuff for it these are some other things parents want to say my my last paragraph is about the emotional connection well parents can say well i don't want the animal as much as you do i refute that because if you knew something that could something that could some, something that could happen to the animals, you would feel horrible. Sometimes it, would, sometimes it could save lives. Sometimes it could save lives. Would it? Would it? Would it? To a little cat or dog, have its turn. Another thing they can say is say is that there's no feelings they have with the animal. I repeat that because animals have feelings as much as you just do. As them. Just as somebody died in your life as if you kicked the animal right real hard and made it bleed. The last thing is it's like your best friend. But mom or dad might say it's not good to talk to animals. Well sometimes kids just need to talk someone talk to someone. Now these are these are some reasons I know every family should have a pet. Love, responsibility, attention, all that stuff. Everyone everyone who reads the, my story should know that it's time to get a pet.